Now joining us for everything in Hollywood is Rosario Chavarria Valdez. What's the latest, Miss Rosie? Hello, Metro. Welcome to another scandalous, juicy, fun-filled segment of Entertain Met. I'm Rosario, bringing you the 411 on all the latest Hollywood and local gossip. Get ready for Hollywood's biggest night. It's time for the Oscars once again. This year, Billy Crystal returns for his ninth time to host the 84th Annual Academy Awards. Tune in this Sunday, February 26th on ABC to see all your favorite celebrities. Tom Hanks, Angelina Jolie, and Holly Berry are among the presenters. And next week, join entertainment for FBI. We will give you the inside scoop when we patrol the red carpet and pick out the best and worst dressed for the night. Let's see which celebs are nominated this year. And Adele is one of the most talked about artists, especially because she seems to win, well, pretty much every award she's ever nominated for. But now everyone is talking about her because of a scandalous situation. She recently went through a little snip and cut through surgery for her vocals, so I guess it was at her be for her best interest to be cut off at the Brit Awards. After being honored with Best Album at the Brit Awards in London, this beloved superstar barely started her acceptance speech when host James Corden totally cut her off to introduce 90s British pop band Blur. The crowd booed and Adele did this, flung the middle finger up. She later told BBC, quote, That was for the suits at the Brit Awards, not my fans. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but the suits offended me. End quote. Corden, the comedian who hosted the show later said, I can't believe I was told to cut off the amazing Adele at the end. End quote. I think everyone will think twice before they cut off Adele during her acceptance speech. Well, it's a small world after all. Isn't Disney supposed to be the happiest place on earth? It seems like Justin Bieber was caught having a bad weekend. Poor kid just wanted to have fun and meet Mickey, but in a new video making its way around the internet, two giggly fans of the young singer spotted him on a ride at Disney World with his father and girlfriend, Selena Gomez, and told the artist they followed him on Twitter. His apparent response, F you. What could have sparked this unfortunate behavior, especially from a celebrity well known for accommodate, accommodating his fans? Who knows? but someone's gonna get a mouthful of soap and get grounded. Ever since rumors started about Rihanna and Chris Brown musically reuniting, fans have been shaking their heads in total shock. The public is just not having it, and most don't like this idea. But after rumors of a Rihanna and Chris Brown collaboration began circulating the internet last week, some, questions, some question why Rihanna would do such a thing in the first place. The mo though most uh, disapprove of this collaboration, surprisingly, the remixes Birthday Cake and Turn Up the Music have been well received, according to Ian Drew, Us Weekly Senior Editor for Music. Guess we will have to wait and see what happens. Hope it's not another repeat of what happened once before. Actress Jennifer Aniston, best known for her role as Rachel in the classic comedy Friends, has got a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame, February 22nd. Her star is the number 2,462. Aniston joked and commented, it seems surreal, sur considering all the, the time she spent walking the streets of Hollywood Boulevard. But she quickly added, she wasn't walking the streets, of, the streets in that way. We congratulate Aniston on her achievements and wish her the best in her coming up film, Wonderlust, opening today. And it looks like Hollywood has decided to keep it real for once. The movie act of Valor starts active duty Navy SEALs instead of actors and tells the story of five acts of Valor weaved into one plot. Although the screenplay is fictitious, the events portrayed are based on real life situations experienced by the SEALs within the last 10 years. The movie doesn't use any computer graphics and all of the operational planning was done by the SEAL teams making the depiction even more realistic. Directors Mike McCoy and Scott Waugh could not have said it better themselves. We don't have stars in our movie. We have heroes. Actor Valor starts today in theaters. I caught the premiere last night at 12 a.m. It was a must-see film. And that's going to do it for entertainment. I'm Rosie, back to you on desk. And I don't know about you, but I love award season, so I'm super excited for the Oscars. And I love Jennifer Aniston. I absolutely love her. You gonna go see the movie? Oh yeah, for sure. Coming up after the break, 
Leanna Duart tells us how the track and field team did at their last event. On that long and do it all again so I can find my way back home. The sun seems to shine a little less since you've been gone. You were the one I wanted. Don't stray, don't ever go away. I'll just smile and everyone will want to go with it. Oh. The Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is one of the most historic college organizations in the United States. Founded in 1909, the RMAC has a membership of 14 colleges and universities, making it one of the largest conferences in the country. The RMAC is also one of the most successful. During the past decade, more than 30 RMAC teams have won national championships. The Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, continuing the tradition of excellence. Joining us on the desk now is Leanna Duart. Leanna, what's going on with Metro Sports? Well, we're actually finishing up the regular season this weekend, but don't worry, the playoffs are going to start this week. So, We get the ball rolling with men's basketball as they took over Western New Mexico, and it wasn't even a close game, winning by 25, 90 to 65. However, the next night wasn't as easy as New Mexico Highlands showed up to try and upend the 18th ranked team in the nation. The Roadrunners came out on top 75 to 71, and of course, who else lead this comeback but Offensive Player of the Week, Reggie Evans, who walked into the game just needing 16 points to become the sixth player in, high, in school history to reach 1,500 career points. He reached that and then some, finishing with 19 points. While one Roadrunner eclipsed the landmark, one more is on the verge, as Jonathan Morris had 12 points and nine rebounds, which leaves him four points shy of 1,000 for his career. The Roadrunners impo improved to 21-5 overall and 16-5 in the RMAC. With the two wins, they clinched a home playoff game for the conference tournament on February 28th. But first, they have to close the season with a game against Regis this Saturday. With the women trying to clinch the RMAC regular season championship, two road matches stood in their way. Like the men, ladies had no issues defeating Western New Mexico, 77-42. Also like the men, the women had trouble with New Mexico Highlands, but they pulled out the victory as well. Only difference, they had to come back down by three. The ladies started off with a sloppy first half, committing 10 turnovers. They trailed at the break 33-28. to Jessica Burke scored a game-high 17 points. 15 points were in the second half. One of the big highlights of the game was after the Cowgirls missed a three-pointer, Kaylee Dow hit not one but two free throws with four seconds left to steal the win. Dow went 10 for 14 and the most free throws for a Metro player this season. And the ladies pulled off the squeaker 63-60. to With the win coupled with the Fort Lewis loss, the women clinched the RMAC regular season championship. The women will host the first round of the RMAC tournament on Tuesday. But first, they have to finish up the regular season against Regis this Saturday. Since the regular season is coming to an end, we would like to take a look at the back at the top five plays for both teams during the season. We start out with number five, and that would be big man Jonathan Morris with the dunk against CCU, flying from the three throw line to throw it down for number throw it down. Number four versus Fort Lewis. Alyssa Benson blocks the layup attempt, finds Candace Cohen streaking down the court for the easy two points on their way to the big win against the Skyhawks. Now for the three-point shot from Paul Brotherson, which just happens to be the third play in our countdown, all the way from, well, you get the hint, it was pretty far. A mere four minutes later, we find our number two play in the hands of Reggie Evans for the Miracle Game winning basket against Adam State, holding off the Grizzlies' upset attempt. 
And now for the amazing number one play, I guess you can call it a performance, three-time RMAC Player of the Week, Jasmine Cervantes had a monster of a game, achieving the first ever triple-double in Metro women's basketball history. Cervantes racked up 17 rebounds, 13 points, and 11 assists. Of course, there were more plays we would have loved to put in there, including more dominating performances from Cervantes, who went over 1,000 points for her career and took top spot for most career assists for Metro's women basketball player. Great job, Jasmine. All right, now we sprint over to the track as our indoor track and field team got their run on at the Twilight Open in Golden last Saturday. Senior Senya Flores led the road runners with her second place finish in the mile. Flores crossed the line in attempt of 5 minutes and 27 seconds onto the 400 and senior Carissa Cinda wins her heat with a time of two, 1 minute and 2 seconds but ends up finishing 4th overall. Now for the men's senior Derek Fiorini finished 5th in the 60 meter dash among college runners and junior transfer Darius Reed sprinted his way to the 3rd place in the 60 meter hurdle. That would be the last of the, of the meet for the regular season for the indoor track and field team. The Roadrunners now gear up for the RMAC championships that will take place in Sh Shattern, Nebraska on February 24th and 25th. We wish the entire team the best of luck next week. Metro Baseball pulled off a sweep over Hastings on Sunday in Pueblo as the Roadrunners won 12-5 and 9-8. Metro improves to 3-1. The baseball team will host their first home game this weekend against Regis, but the game for today has been canceled. Looks like our baseball team is off to a good start. Wish we could say the same for softball as the two ladies or as the ladies lost two games at the Desert Stinger Tournament this past Saturday. They dropped to, nine, to two and nine on the season. The softball team is playing at home this weekend against UCCS. It's always really exciting to hear about how great our teams are doing, and I'm mm -hmm. so excited to see the basketball teams in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. And I personally think that number two should have been one, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> this February will be ending with an extra day. Wednesday, February 29th is Leap Day. Leap Days are a necessary measure to keep our calendars in alignment with the Earth's rotation around the sun. The Earth takes approximately 365 days to circle around the sun, creating a six-hour difference per year. Well, we're very excited to welcome a special returning musical guest in studio today. Since we've last seen Robert Gillis, he's released some new songs and has been featured on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Please welcome back to the show, Robert Gillis. The feeling I've become a city man Can't sleep till the bars let out at night And I've grown used to starless midnight walks The loneliness of business talk I've become an East Coast city man And I've the feeling I've become a city man Spill my heart without a fight But that's not how I was raised This country boy has seen better days I've become an East Coast city man Oh, I've become a concrete city man But I'm begging for some honest conversation I'm begging but I ain't down on my knees here I've learned that men don't weep with their heads up high and shoulders deep. So I'm begging, but I ain't down on my knees. I'm begging, baby, come and save me, please. And I have a feeling I've become a city man. I spend more time alone than in your arms. And though I try to call you twice a day, my voice alone can feed these flames. And I'm scared to be a lonely city man. I'm scared I'm just a lonely city man. And I'm begging for some honest conversation. I'm begging, but I ain't down on my knees. Cause here I've learned that men don't Heads up high and shoulders deep So I'm begging but I ain't down on my knees I'm begging baby come and 
save me, please. I'm begging, but I ain't down on my knees. Africa, city land. Oh, Africa, city land. Robert, that was such a beautiful performance. What a wonderful song. Thank you. So it's been a while since we've seen you. Mm -hmm. What have you been up to? Oh, gosh, where to start? Well, uh, I think in the past month, I've appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show. And um, I know I'm saying all this stuff like, oh, just the Ellen show, you know? <laughs> um, and I opened for Andy Grammer and Ryan Starr. And I recently released a record as well. So it's nonstop now. That's really exciting. So what was the inspiration behind your new album? Well, it, it all started with the song you just heard, actually. Uh, it's called City Man. And uh, once I wrote that song, I thought, I need, <laughs> I need a record to go with this song, because it just perfectly explained how I felt about being somebody who moved from a small town to a big city and just about making a home somewhere completely new. Well, I'm excited to listen to the rest of your album. Thanks again for being here. It was such Thank a pleasure. You. And folks, if you're interested, uh, Robert's new album is called Astronaut. You can find it on iTunes or on Amazon.com, and you can also find the link on metreport.org. And that's going to do it for today. For Josh Hicks, Rosario Chavarria Valdez, Leanna Duar, and the whole Met Report team, I'm Paula Ruelas. Robert, I think you're going to close the show? Yep. Take it away. Thank you. Ain't it strange that since you made your mind up about who you wanted to be, that everybody with opinions to spare jumped on board like a ship on the seven seas. It doesn't make it any easier to find your way when everybody in the world's got something to say about it. Scream and shout, it's time to make a getaway. But don't be afraid to be yourself Cause everybody else is taken Oh, you are, are who you are But it's not all that you can be And you know it in your heart That your life's not quite the ordinary You are who you are, are Everybody seems to think that they know you and every inch of your life. But ain't it strange that at the end of the day, nobody seems to take their own advice. It's never easy to admit that you've been wrong. But everybody wants to sing a song and dance about it, scream and shout. It's time to make you get away. But don't be afraid to be yourself Cause everybody else is taken Oh, you are, are who you are But it's not all that you can be And you know it in your heart That your life's not quite the ordinary You are, are who you are, but it's not all that you can be. And you know it in your heart that your life's not quite the ordinary. You are who you are, are but it's not all that you can be. And you can be if you can dream and a thing. can dream anything. <laughs> uh, you
guys are awesome.